Hey guys, Intimidation here, and I am showing you my Hayati, Fidole Hayati colony, and it's uh, it's very young. It's I started with one queen, and uh, she has about four workers, and surprisingly, she has three male ants in this colony as well. And uh, some of you may or may not know why that is. That is so odd, but uh, I, I, in case you don't, I'll tell you. Male ants don't usually occur in colonies until they're mature. Uh, and maturity for certain species of ants can happen anywhere from three to four or four to five years, depending on species. And I find it extremely strange for two reasons. F first is the obvious. Uh, she's a brand new queen. She just had her first four workers. And she already has male ants. The second is they're not killing the male ants. Usually if you have a colony of ants that produce males by the off chance that it actually does happen, it actually does happen more than you think. Um, every once in a while the queen will lay an unfertilized egg which will become a, a male ant. And every so often a worker will lay an unfertilized egg that will become a male ant. But it it's really mind-boggling because uh, the the times that I've seen it happen, the workers in the colony usually kill off the males because they're they're essentially resource hounds. I mean, males don't do anything for the colony at all. All they do is sit around and eat until the mating flight happens. Well, this colony is too young for a mating flight to ever happen, so. Essentially, they're just placeholders. They're, they're not doing anything to benefit the colony. All they're doing is taking up space and eating food. So I don't know why the colony has not decided or felt it necessary to destroy these males. Usually, usually it happens right after they're, they're, they close from, from their pupa stage. Right when they get their wings, they're they're immediately dismembered and and put outside the colony. If if this were to occur too soon, so I find it really odd. I don't I don't know if Fidoli has a tendency to to maybe not do this. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll find some miraculous miraculous discovery where male ants actually help the colony in some way. I I, I highly doubt it, but. Uh, I find it really interesting that this colony has three males. It's hard to make out, but if I could get to the side here, there's a few male, there, few males right on the cotton. There, if you can make them out, there's one, two, and the third one is kind of underneath. He just eclosed today, and the one in the middle, that's the large one, is obviously the queen. But yeah, originally I thought her large larvae were going to turn into soldiers, and I was quite happy to see that occurring. And when the large larvae became pupa, I noticed that they did not have the large, typical fidole square heads that soldiers usually do. They had small, weak-looking jaws, big eyes, and and wings. So I was quite surprised to see that. But I don't know... I don't know what that means for the colony. Uh, she's almost had as many male ants as there are workers in the colony. That's, you know, that's like a <laughs> pretty close ratio there. So I don't know what will occur. I'll keep tabs on this colony as much as I can, and I'll, uh, I'll put them up on YouTube and uh, let you guys know what I find out. All right, guys. Take it easy. Peace.